The night prior to President Trump's inauguration, I made a promise at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. I said that Project Veritas was going to investigate and expose the media, particularly the mainstream media, which seems to believe that the American people are utterly incapable of making informed decisions. Everyone's saying, who are you going after next? I'm going to tell you right now, I'll make it public. I'm going after the media next. The media's relationship with the establishment renders them incapable of challenging the normative order in our society, while the media systematically targets and shames any independent media organization or citizen which attempts to ferret out real information. So it's time for us to turn their tactics and rules against them. It's time to expose what happens inside their newsrooms. It's time for us to expose the media. I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. Because of the attack of fake news and, and uh, attacking our network, I, I just want to ask you, sir. I'm changing it from fake yeah. news, though. D doesn't that undermine? Very fake news. I yeah. know, but aren't you? It's a two-part tweet. He begins, the fake news media is going crazy with their conspiracy theories. This month, we had someone come forward and offer us more than 200 hours of tapes secretly recorded at CNN's Atlanta headquarters. Now, the tapes are from 2009, more than a few years ago. But as they say, past is prologue. We thought there might be some interesting evidence in these tapes. For example, one of the employees who was a mid-level editor is now CNN's senior editorial director. We are releasing the raw, unedited version of these tapes on our website. But we need your help. We don't have the time or the manpower to go through all the tapes. So we'd like you to go through the tapes for us. Go through them, listen to them, transcribe them, see what you can discover. There's a secondary corollary to that, right? Aid the affliction and afflict the comfortable. That's the voice of Richard Griffiths. He is the vice president and senior editorial director. When he says afflict the comfortable, we're wondering if that now applies to President Trump. If we are journalists, what is our role as a journalist? What is the fundamental role as a journalist? for us to do. Tell, 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 tell a story. Tell what's going on. There's a secondary corollary, corollary to that, right? Aid the affliction and afflict the comfortable. It's to a degree, right? Is that not part of the, the traditional uh, role of the journalist? It's actually one of the things I can be most proud of as a journalist. You know, we try to show the side of humanity so we can do something about it. It's hard. It's very hard. That issue, mm -hmm. climate change. I mean, science is pretty much on, on board. Mm -hmm. And there are a few dissenters. There's no debate. Yeah. It's just, just like, you know, born again saying there's a debate over, you know, creationism and all that stuff. There is no debate. That's Joe Sterling. When these tapes are recorded, he was the news desk editor for CNN's online venue, The Wire. You can hear in the tapes his blatant bias against Republicans. Remember, when these tapes were recorded, President Obama was still in office. The only, I mean, I'm, look, I'm a little biased. The only spoon I think is going on is Republicans. Right. They hate Obama so much, it doesn't mean anybody. Right. 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 With regards to CNN polls, both then and now, maybe Trump was right when he called CNN's poll numbers fake news. I read a CNN poll that was taken on June 26th and 28th, and I know that her, the hearing for the case, the firefighters case, was on the 29th. So the poll was done right before it, and those are still the poll results that we're reporting. So I asked um, someone in D.C. that does the poll results about why we hadn't updated it. I said that there are a few newer polls from last week, from the week before. There's a CBS News poll and a Rasmussen poll. And he said, we don't use Rasmussen. And I said, um, are we with CNN going to do another poll if we're only using that? And he said, we're not going to be doing another poll. Those are the results we'll be using. So I don't see how that's reporting all sides, because that poll said hold for release until Friday the 10th. Yeah, that's because who did you talk with? Paul. Um, Major director. Paul Stein. Yeah. Uh, Stein House. Yeah, he's, okay. oh, yeah, he's pretty high in the chain. I agree. Okay. I, think, yeah. I think it's... We're dishonest to use outdated information if, if new information. Ah, good stuff. 
shows something that is at variance with what you're recording. Yeah. That's just, that's just honest. This, this wasn't released until two weeks after, so can we say a newly released? No, you can't say that. You can't say that. You can't say that at all. This is really released. Okay, but it says for release on well, Reddit. Yeah. Now, how do we write about this? Did we write a wire about it? Yeah, I think the wires, and I, I did some Googling and found that it said that her, according to CNN poll, like people were saying this recently, that her approval ratings are 47%. But I thought that if someone saw this, they might think that. Well, they're thinking, oh, they're using an outdated poll that was done before a major event happened that would change how people even thought of her. I'd have to see, I'd have to see how we write about it. I don't think these things change how people think of you. I don't think they do. They're I mean, if someone puts this up, it's not going to change. It's not going to change anybody's opinion. In 2009, Paul Steinhauser was CNN's deputy political director. CNN likes to call on Donald Trump and everyone else for their political incorrectness. But we found within CNN's newsrooms, they can be too politically incorrect. Perhaps they need some sensitivity training? Because there's two of you guys, can I give this to you? Uh, they did a beeper, Ivan Watson, I guess it was. They did a beeper online with a, a girl calling from yeah. Iran. That's the crying the girl, the crying yeah. girl. Yeah. Someone just called asking for it, so I would say try to find that emotional yeah, part where she's like, <laughs> yeah, right now. Thank you. Project Veritas is determined to continue to expose malfeasance, corruption, and wrongdoing. We want to become a destination where citizens can come forward, work with us, and make real impact. That's why today we're announcing a $10,000 award for anyone who comes forward with legally obtained materials exposing media malfeasance. If you have hidden audio recordings, videotapes, or documents inside of a newsroom or a media institution, and the material is good enough, I will pay you $10,000.